Hello, everybody. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Hi, Hi teacher. How are you? Very good. Pretty good. Everything good, John. Yes, everything All good. Hi, right. good. I'm glad to hear. I'm he glad to hear that. Um, sorry, guys. I was having trouble um, getting into my account. Um, I think there was a problem with the keyboard, but it's solved already. All right. So, guys. Um, well, we're going to start our class by taking our attendance. Um, before I forget. Let's see, just give me a moment. All right. Um, Alejandra. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Alejandra. Christina. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Christina. What about uh, Annie? Is Annie here? Annie? No? Okay. All right. What about Mari? Is Maddie here? No? Um, Carolina? Present teacher. Welcome, Carolina. Thank you. Christy? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Christy. Thank you. Herson? Present teacher, sorry, I am driving. Oh, okay. Okay, well, um, thank you for connecting though. Hopefully, uh, will you will you be getting home soon? Harrison, will you get home soon? Uh, um, more or less in one hour and I, I saw, I think in one hour you're gonna get home in one hour wow yeah, yes yes teacher i i have so far wow that is far okay um karina present okay welcome karina and linda linda okay Okay, um, and um, Julia? Present. Okay, very good. And Nicole? Present. All right, welcome, Nicole. Maida. Is Maida here? Maida? No, Maida. Miguel. Present. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Miguel. Thank you. And Nelson? Nelson? No, Nelson's not here. Okay, Norma. Norma? No? Okay, Olga? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Olga. Thank you. Rafa? Present teacher. Welcome, Rafa. Thank you, teacher. Seneida? Seneida? No, Seneida. Okay. What about Suleyma Rodriguez? 
Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Welcome, Suleyma. And Stephanie? Stephanie Argelia? Present teacher. Oh, okay, wonderful. Okay, very good. Um, do you prefer to be called Stephanie or Argelia? What do you prefer? Mm, I prefer Argelia. Argelia. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Okay. Uh, do you do you do you have a camera? Um, no, because I'm in the work. Mm hmm. Okay. So right. I talked with Fabiola about that, and she told me that I just can't be in the in the classes, mm -hmm. but. I, and I told her that I can't turn on my camera. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Is this just for a little bit or the whole class? Uh, maybe for the whole class. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Nancy. Nancy here? No, Nancy? Okay, what about Juan Carlos? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Juan Carlos. Thank you. Karen? Karen? No? Okay, what about Suleyma Melgar? Suleyma Melgar? Okay, Carla. Present teacher. All right, welcome Carla. And Wilbur Alexis. Wilbur Alexis. No, Wilbur Alexis not here, okay. Eh, Suleyma Veronica está. Hello. Hola, teacher, pero tengo problemas con los audífonos, puede resolver. Ah, ok, ok, pero bueno, por lo menos ya sé que está ahí. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening, ok. Ani, present. But I'm going to pass again. I'm just going to say the names of the people that I didn't hear. Okay, so I didn't hear Annie. Present teacher. Uh, Present teacher. Okay, okay, very good. Okay. Uh, Mari? Present. Okay. Mari, uh, La cámara eh, tienen problemas ahí con la cámara. No, teacher. Ah, ok. ¿Es posible to turn it on? Ok. Thank you. Para que podamos eh, identificar, ¿verdad? Que, que es usted la que está recibiendo la clase. Okay. Bye. Um, Linda. Linda Ivet. Eh, Mayra. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Eh, y Mayra, ¿usted tiene problemas ahí con la cámara? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Eh, recuérdeme cuál es el problema. No puedo encenderla en este momento. Estoy en mi trabajo. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, Nelson? Nelson, no. Eh, Norma? Zeneida? Zeneida? Eh, Nancy? And Wilbert. Ok, creo que ya tenemos a todos. Bye. Eh, solo recordarles, chicos, se me pueden ahí colaborar con sus camaritas, eh, porque acuérdense que eh, pues está, todo esto está siendo 
uh, monitoreado por Instafor, ¿verdad? Ellos son los que audit, um, auditan las clases eh, y ellos están ahí viendo, ¿verdad? Quienes se están conectando y quienes no, ¿verdad? Y no solamente es porque ahí esté su nombre, sino que, de hecho, um, para que, solo para que lo sepan, por si acaso ustedes no han... Um, si alguno de ustedes no ha visto el video, ¿verdad? Si nunca se han metido a ver los videos, eh, les comento que en los videos no salen eh, ahí los, los nombres, salen eh, ni las cámaras que no están, apaga que, que están apagadas, solo salen las cámaras, eh, lo, los videos, las videos de las personas que tienen su cámara encendida. Por eso les digo de que es importante que Um, de que ustedes tengan encendido su cámara porque si no, en el video no sale que usted esté en la clase. Um, pareciera como que no está. <ríe> Entonces, por eso le, eh, les, les digo, y le digo, um, si ustedes quieren revisar, le va, van, a, van a hallar que solamente están en cabal, sale lo, lo, las, las fotitos ahí de las personas que están, que, que tienen sus cámaras encendidas. Entonces, por eso es de que es importante que si si pueden, si no hay inconveniente, que lo puedan encender, porque lo contrario pare, va a parecer para Insefor como que ustedes no están. Ok. Bueno. Eh, all right, guys. So, um, welcome to today's class. I'm glad to have everybody here. Thank you for connecting early. That's excellent. Ok. So, today we are going to begin our class. Um, with a new topic. This new topic has to do with um, what we call coordinating conjunctions. Um, let me share with you. Can you see this? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So we're gonna make it yes, teacher. Okay, so coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are, uh, they are words that connect two different ideas in one sentence, okay? So simple sentences with coordinating conjunctions. When we say when we say simple sentences, we're just talking about sentences that have like. Sure. Um, Excuse me. Yes. Can you repeat the first word? Coordinating. Ah, coordinating. Coordinating. Co or coordinating. Coordinating conjunctions. In you. Pronunciation is very fast. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, but let, 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 let's comment algo. Um, en ocasiones van a escuchar que voy a hablar rápido y es porque el inglés es mi, mi, mi primer idioma. Entonces, es natural para mí que hablarlo más rápido de lo que tal vez ustedes están acostumbrados. Entonces, en ese caso, solamente díganme, teacher, um, slow down, please. Y está bien, o sea, y yo voy a hacerlo más despacio. Eh, pero díganme, o sea, es lo importante es que me lo digan, porque eh, de lo contrario no voy a saber, ¿verdad? No, no voy a saber que ustedes no lo están captando. Entonces, por favor, um, no tengan pena de decirme, pero, pero sí es importante para mí que, que, que ustedes um, digan si necesitan que se vaya un poco más despacio. ¿Ok? Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. So this is coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions. Ok. Does that help? Yes? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. And, and a little bit longer, we say coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions. That would be 
together and in a faster, in a, in a regular tone, okay? So a coordinating conjunctions are um, words that we use to connect two ideas, two, diff two different ideas in one sentence. And in English, there are seven coordinating conjunctions. Now, to remember these conjunctions, we use this acronym that's called fanboys. Okay, the word fanboys is just, it's just a word that we use to be able to remember all of the coordinating conjunctions. Why do we say fanboys? Because fanboys stands for, the F in fanboys is the word for, okay? The A in fanboys is and. The N in fanboys is nor. The B in fanboys is but. The O in fanboys is or. The Y in fanboys is yet. And the S is so. So uh, we use the word for when we want to explain a reason or purpose. This is very similar to the word because. Okay. So um think of just if you if you use the word for it's similar like imagine you're using the word because so if you're if it's like similar to the word because then you're doing it correctly okay and now and is when we're adding one thing to another so we're adding more information to something that you already said okay now, uh, the word nor is a is pres uh, presence um, presents an alternative idea, oh, sorry, alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one. What this means is that you mention a negative idea, and then you want to add another negative idea. Okay, it's in Spanish, it's like when you say ni, right? For example, uh, no me gustan ni las, um, no sé, las berenjenas, ni las, um, quiero ver, ni las, um, ni las zanahorias. Entonces, we have two ideas that are negative. No me gusta, right? Ni esto, o sea, no me gusta. Ni una cosa, ni la otra cosa. So in English, we use the word nor. All right, now, there is something There's a question for interference. Yeah. Acuérdense, chicos, de, de siempre apagar ahí sus, sus micrófonos, al menos que vayamos a... Uh, va a hacer alguna preguntita. Okay, now, um, something that you have to know is that nor is special. Why? Because, for example, I can say, I don't, oops, I don't like uh, eggplant. You know, you understand eggplant, right? Yes? Berenjena. Exactly. Eggplant is berenjena. Just for, just to make sure you understand that, okay? I don't like eggplant. Now, what happens with this is that we do something special. We say, nor do I like, I'm going to say spinach. Okay, I don't like eggplant, nor do I like spinach. Okay, now, if this is how we normally would do this. If you notice, don't like is negative, right? Don't like is a negative verb. So it's like saying, no me gustan. No me gustan, it's negative. And then the second idea, we use the word nor, okay? But there is something interesting about this, 
is that we use an inversion. We don't say, nor I do, you say, nor do I, okay? Because this is like in a form of a question, okay? It's an inversion. So you say, nor do I. We don't say, nor I do, or no, I like. You say, nor do I. Now, also notice that do I like this part here is not negative. Why? We don't put do negative. We don't say don't. We don't say um, didn't like. No, you see, because the negative part is the word nor. Okay, this makes it negative, not the auxiliary, not the verb. It's the word nor that makes it negative. Does that make sense? Do we understand yes. this? Yes. Yes. Questions? No, 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 no tengan pena de preguntar. Ahorita el momento para preguntar. O sea que, teacher, perdón, o sea que cuando yo uso el nor, quiere decir que es porque las dos partes son negativas, o sea, no me gusta esto, no me gusta tampoco lo otro. Exactly, yes. Exactly, yes. Um, okay. So what you're saying, you're saying is that this is a negative idea and you're going to add another negative idea. Okay, so if you want to think of it, nor is the opposite of and. Teacher. Yes. O sea que como que dijera, eh, nor do I like spinach. Como que dijera, I don't like spinach. It's like saying I don't like spinach, exactly. But okay. you don't say I don't like. ¿Por qué no okay. se dice don't like? Porque Por, lleva el, el adjetivo, nor. Porque la, la, el conjunction, ¿verdad? Y el conjunction nor ya está negativo. Y en inglés no podemos tener un doble negativo. Ok. Ok. Entonces, como Thank eso you. ya es negativo, entonces no ponemos don't. You say, nor do I. Ok. Any other questions? No. Uh -huh. Teacher, entonces el nor ahí es como decir ni. Uh -huh. Correct. Yes, that is correct. Any other questions? No. Is is always uh, the part do I? Uh, well, no, not necessarily. You only use do if it's in the simple present. Okay. If it was in the simple past, I would, for example, I could say, I didn't like eggplant, nor did I like spinach. So we're talking about simple past, right? Okay. Or okay. you can... I can't uh, I can't um, cook a plant nor can I cook spinach, for example. Yeah? So it's not always going to be do. It all depends on what the auxiliary is, right? It can be do, it can be did, it can be does, it can be can, uh, would, will, um, have, had, has, anything, okay? It depends on what auxiliary we need to use. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anything else? Any other questions? Acuérdense que ahorita el momento de preguntar.
Okay, all right, but, but shows a contrast, right? You guys know this one. This is very, this is a very element, elementary ideas, right? So, and, and, but, right? So let's say, but is the opposite of and. So, and is adding an idea and, but is showing a contrast, okay? Or presents an alternative or a choice. So for example, do you want ice cream or cake? So you have two options, ice cream or cake. So you're, you're having alternative choices. The word yet introduces a contrast in idea that follows the preceding idea logically. So let's say that yet is similar to but. The only thing is that uh, the contrast in idea is has like a logical i like a, a logical idea. Okay, so to give you an example, we can say um, She was sick, yet she still went to work. Okay, so we're contrasting here. Okay, now this is this is logical because um, if somebody is sick, most the most logical thing is that they stay at home and um, and they rest. But here you're saying there's a, there's a contrast to something that we would find. To, we would sh we should find it to be logical, right? So this is not it's, it's different to say, for example, I like um, I don't know I like pizza, but I don't like spaghetti, for example. Those things are not like really logical, right? There's no there's no logical idea that follows. There's no flow to the idea. But here there's a flow, right? You're sick, normally you you stay home, but in this case we don't stay home. We actually go to work. Okay? Yeah, does that make sense? Does that make sense? To be your, it makes uh, another example. Sorry? Sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Could you repeat that again? Yes. Can, can you repeat what you said? I didn't hear you. Oh, maybe it could be uh, another example. Oh, you want another example? Okay, sure. Yep. Okay, my mom is a good cook, yet I can't even fry an egg. Okay, so if my mom's a good cook, you would probably expect me to, to be a good cook too. But no, no, I don't, I'm not a good cook. I, I can't even fry an egg. Yeah, so this is contrast. This, this idea, it follows 
logically to this idea in a contrast way, in the opposite way. Okay. So it's like a, it's almost like a result, but it's the opposite result of what you expect. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, perdón. In, in Spanish, what does it mean? Yet. Porque yo estoy pensando yet de, de aún o todavía, no sé. Pero en esta oración no es así. ¿Qué, qué, qué significa en sí en esta oración yet en español? Um, it would be something like... Um, ni siquiera. O oh, ni siquiera. Mm, no. no, ni siquiera. No. Uh, it would be more like... Um, Todavía. It would be more like... Um, Aún. It's almost like saying, um, eh, sin embargo, eh, um, o aún así, pero también, o aún así, ¿hmm? what? Pero, pero, ajá, uh -huh, yes, but. Uh, pero es more like but, right? Y but, o sea, uno puede usar but con dos cosas que son bien distintas y no tiene nada que ver una cosa con la otra, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, uh, puede ser um, I like I like uh, hamburgers, but I don't like tamales. Y una cosa no tiene nada que ver con la otra. No, 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 no se sigue. Sin embargo, estas dos ideas sí tienen como una lógica. Esto como precede. She was sick. Okay? She was sick. Entonces uno dice, ah, o sea, estaba enferma. Entonces, por lo tanto, lo que usted espera es que se, se, se quede en casa. Pero lo opuesto pasa. She still went to work. In este caso, ah, my mom is. Sería como el cambio. Uh, lo opuesto, lo opuesto a la situación. Ah, la, lo opuesto, lo opuesto a lo que, lo que la, lo que la idea es. lógica le dice. Okay. okay. Yeah. So my mom is a good cook. Mi mamá es una buena eh, cocinera so, ah, entonces lo lógico es que ah, si mi mamá es una buena cocinera pues también yo lo tendría que hacer porque obviamente ella me enseñó yo, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera pero no, no, no pasa eso I can't even fry an egg no puedo ni siquiera freír un huevo ¿Ah? entonces es como lo opuesto de lo, que, de lo que se esperaría de la primera oración ok, does that make sense? Yes. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, can you give us one of example for each word for and nor bad or jet so please? Sure. I need to put on a sweater for it's freezing up in here. Okay. I need to put on a sweater for it's freezing on here. They have two cars and a motorcycle. Okay, so this is uh, one idea. They, the one idea is they have two cars. Another idea is they have a motorcycle, 
right? So you're adding the word and um, to talk about the, instead of saying they have a car, they have two cars, they have two motorcycles. Instead of doing that, you put them together. He called her, but she didn't hear the phone. It's a contrast. Okay. Um, or. Do you want ice cream or cake? Okay. And then I've given you two for yet. Okay. And so, so indicates an effect, result, or consequence, okay? So for example, we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of money. So we can't go on vacation. Okay. So this is an effect, a result. The, what, what's the result that we don't have a lot of money? The result is we can't go on vacation. That's the result. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, so is this clear for everybody? Um, Olga, you had a question? No, teacher, thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, any other questions? Not the chair. Okay, all right. I want to call your attention to this over here. Um, this is the this is how let's say this is the the structure okay sent the sentence plus if you notice we have a comma here okay so sentence plus the comma plus the fan voice so the coordinating conjunction so we can use for and norm but or yet or so and then the other sentence okay and i have showed you this here Okay, um, hold on, just give me a moment. Okay, I've, no, I've showed you this in all of them, okay? If you notice, it says, I need to put on a sweater. There's the first sentence. Then we use a comma, right? And then the coordinating conjunction, right? which is in this case, four, okay? Same thing here. We have, I can't cook, I can't cook eggplant, which is the sentence. And after that, we use the comma, okay? And then we use the coordinating conjunction. In this case, we use the coordinating conjunctions nor okay same thing here he called her but she didn't so she called her is the first sentence and then after that we use the comma okay and then the coordinating conjunction which is but and then the, the rest of the sentence was she didn't hear the the phone okay over here she was sick yet she still went to work. She was sick as the first sentence. And after that, we use the comma, yet, oops, yet, and the coordinating conjunction, yet, here, okay? Uh, same thing over here in the second sentence of, of yet, 
we have the first um, sentence, my mom is a good cook. And then we have a comma. And then we use the courting conjunction yet. And the second sentence is I can't even fry an egg. Okay. And for this one, the so. Teacher. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, which means fanboy in Spanish? No, there's no meaning to that. Can uh, you mute, mute yourself all for a minute? Can you, can you mute for a moment? Voy a ponerle mute. Un momento. Thank you. Okay. Va. Eh, okay. And let, uh, let me just finish this idea right now, and then I'm, I'm going to answer your question. Eh, okay. So the first one is uh, the first sentence is we don't have a lot of money. That's the first sentence. Then we have the comma, right? And the courting conjunction is so. Okay. All right. Now, a Carolina fanboy is not a word. I mean, it is a word, but but it's not, it has no meaning. It's just what we call an acronym. An acronym on uh, it's like in Spanish you call it acronimo, right? Okay, it's an ac acronym to remember the coordinating conjunctions. The fanboy, the letter is F, right? Se lo voy a poner así esta forma para que sea aún más visible. So, fanboy F stands for four. The A. The A stands for and. Yeah? Oh, bueno, de hecho, quizás lo voy a hacer más. Eh, okay, acá mejor. Va a ser más fácil. Okay, the N for nor, the B for but, the O for or, the Y for yet, and the S for so. Entonces, forma la palabra fanboys. Do you see that? It's just an acronym to remember. Okay? So es un acrónimo para que se le, si usted se acuerda, es, ah, sí, sí, esta es parte del, de los, the coordinating conjunctions. Okay? Is that clear? Clear, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, va. Now, eh, hay dos oraciones aquí que he dejado Aparte, y lo he hecho con, con, a, a propósito. Okay. If you notice, the, the sentence with and does not have a comma. See? And, there's no, there's no comma before and. And this one too. There's no comma before or. Why? The reason why we don't put a comma for the word and and or in this sentence is because in the second part, this is not a sentence, okay? No tenga que dice fanboy y sentence, but a motorcycle is not a sentence. Tampoco es cake, that's not a sentence, yeah? It's just a phrase, right? So when we, when we use the word and or the word or, and there is no um, sentence after it, just a phrase, then you don't need the comma. You don't need the comma. Okay? Y eso solamente se puede hacer con estas dos. Okay? Solamente se pueden hacer con estas dos eh, fanboys. And. Y or. Okay? Con las otras no. Solo con estas dos. Pero eso no significa que no se puede poner un and. Pero un, un comma con and y or. If I change it, if I change the sentence and I say, they have a motorcycle and a, they have two cars and they 
are selling the motorcycle. What was it? And they are selling the motorcycle. But I see, I see, right? Um, in that case, you will notice that I, oops. Okay, so hold on, wait. In that case, yes, we can say they have two cars and they are selling the motorcycle. Why? The reason is because we, the reason why we put the comma is because in this case, after the word and, there is a sentence, okay? The sentence is, they're selling the motorcycle. It's, now it's a complete sentence. Antes no, antes solo era una frase, okay? The same thing happens here. If I say, do you want ice cream or do you prefer um, a fruit salad? So do you want an ice cream or do you prefer fruit salad? Ahí sí eh, iría una, una coma, una coma. Why? Because the second is a sentence, a complete sentence. Do you prefer a fruit salad? Okay? ¿Estamos claros con esto? Okay. Yes, teacher. Any questions? No. No? No for me. Okay. Questions, questions. Ahorita es el momento de preguntar. It's all clear. It's all clear? Okay. All right. Well, if everything is clear, I'm going to give you your assignment. The assignment is this exercise here, okay? What, do we have these sentences? And you have to decide where to put the comma, okay? Where it's necessary to put the comma, okay? And if it's necessary, a veces puede ser que no se necesario. So read the sentence, and decide where, or if, if it's necessary to put a comma, and if it is, where, okay? I'm gonna do it, uh, you can do this individually. And the number one? Huh? And the number one? Yes, it's necessary. No, it, right, right now, do it individually, después vamos a, 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 a platicarlo. Okay. Okay, just right now I'm going to give you some tone, some a few moments to to do it, to do the exercise. Okay? And then we'll talk about it.
Okay, so are we ready? Yes? Not yet. Not yet? One, one moment, please. Okay, no problem. Teacher, no le entendí el ejercicio. Me levanté y no le puse atención. Oh, okay. We are, we are reading these exercises and deciding where, or well, better said, first, if it's necessary to put a comma, and if it is, where. Okay. Okay, are we ready now? Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to check the answers. Um, let's talk about the first one. Okay, so I go to expensive restaurants for their service and uh, dishes are very good. What do you think about that? Do we need a comma or we don't? Yes. Yes? Yes. Do you think, does everybody think you need a comma? Yes. Yes, yes? okay, good. Yes, you're right, you're absolutely right. And in that case, where? Where do you need the comma? I go to a fancy restaurant, comma. Okay, good. Very, very just, good. Uh-huh. Are very good. Okay, very good. So you would put it over here. Okay, the comma, you would put it right here. Oops, perdón. <laughs> Casi ni se mira. Okay, give me a moment. Let's make this one bigger. Right there. That's better. Okay, so. Uh, we go to expensive restaurants, comma, for their service and dishes are very good. It's like saying because, because their service and dishes are very good. Okay, it's similar to that. Okay, so we put it right there because the coordinating conjunction is the word for. Okay. Hey, sure. Yes. In this case, uh, not necessary the article um, oh no i confuse uh you estaba usando el n no el for excuse me ah uh -huh. yes in this case okay now let's talk about and do we need a comma before and do we say, no. I go to expensive restaurants, comma, for their service, comma, and dishes are very good. Is that, is that correct? Mm. Mm, I don't see the article. There, this would not be correct. We wouldn't put a comma here. Why? Because after the word and. The connector. Exactly, which is the connector, right? Um, the, yeah, the connector. <laughs> After the word and, uh, sorry, change this. The core, after the coordinating conjunction here, we have the word dishes are very good. Dishes are very good. Um, yes, but the thing is that the are very good is part of their service, the part of their service. Okay, so it's like both of both of these things are very good. So this is not a complete sentence after it. This is part of the first part of where it says their service. Okay. 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 So that's why we wouldn't need to use a comma there. 
Here, yes, but over here, no. Okay? Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, next one. Restaurants need to offer specialty dishes and they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Any comments after that one in any of these? No? No commas? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Why? I think uh, before end. You you think that we need a comma before end? Okay, why? No. I think mm, no, not sentences. I uh -huh. I'm disagree because no is a sentence before and no, okay. after. Okay, let's let's look at the word and, which is the coordinating conjunction, right? So let's look, okay, so we have here the word and. Now, remember, we have to have a sentence before, right? Do we have a sentence before it? Yes, we do, right? Restaurants need to offer specialty dishes. Oh, yes. Yeah. something. Right? Do we have a sentence after? A complete yes. sentence? Yes. Yes. They have to offer takeout in case you're in a hurry. That's yes. the second sentence. So, do we need the comma or not? Yes. Yes. We need the comma. Yes. yes, we do. We do need the comma. Mm -hmm. So, here we're going to put... Here we would have to put the comma. Okay. Does that sound good? Do we understand why? Oops. Okay, so you understand why this one we don't put a comma with and, but in this one we put a comma with and. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. All right, next one. The delivery person arrived late, so we got, so we got the food for free. Any comments we need here? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where, where do you think we need the comma? Before so. Before so. Okay, very good. Exactly. And what is the coordinating conjunction? What is the coordinating conjunction? So. So. Okay. Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay. No questions then? No. Okay. All right. And stop there. We're gonna stop presenting. Okay, so um what we're gonna do right now. Um Give me a moment. Okay. All right. Yesterday and um, the day before, we were talking about um, a different restaurants, right? We're talking about specifically your favorite restaurant, right? You were thinking about um, their favorite restaurant, what makes it special. Um, 
we were talking about the services that exist in those restaurants, uh, why you like them, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like the same kind of idea where we're gonna be talking about that special restaurant that, that you like, but we're gonna, this time we're not gonna first talk about it. This time, what we're gonna do is we're going to be writing, okay? So that's, that's the idea here. We're gonna be writing some more, okay? So, um, wait a moment. I'm going to present um, Please tell me if you can see it or not. Give me a moment. Okay. Um, can you see it right? Oh, guys, sorry. Before before I do this, I just forgot that we need to take the attendance right now. Okay, so this is let's take the attendance at this moment. Okay, Alejandra. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Cristina. Christina? Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, excellent. And um, Ani? Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, Mari? Mari? Present. Okay, very good. Carolina? Present teacher. Very good. Um, Chris, Cristina? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Gerson? Gerson? Karina? Present. Very good. Uh, Linda? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Julia? Julia? Yes, okay. All right. Very good. Marlene? Oh, sorry. Marlene. Yes, present. Uh -huh. oh, you called Marlene. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, no, no. 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 No, no, Ah, así que uh -huh. creo que está bien así. No, no, pero o sea, es que ahí depende cómo usted se sienta cómoda. ¿Verdad? O sea. Sí, está bien. ¿Le gusta más Nicole, verdad? Oh, 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 ok. Oh, está bien, Marlene. Marlene, ok, bye, Marlene. Sí. Ok, uh, Mayra. Present check. Ok, very good. Uh, Miguel. Person, person okay, very good. Nelson? Nelson? No. Okay. Norma? Norma? Okay. Eh, Olga? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Rafa. Present teacher. Good, great. Rafa, um, Sinaida. Sinaida. Okay. Uh, Sylvia, Suleima, Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, good. Um, Argelia? Present. All right. Good. Nancy? Nancy? Juan Carlos? 
Present teacher. Juan Carlos? Present teacher. Ah, okay, good, good, excellent. Um, Karen? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Suleima Melgar? Suleima Melgar? No, no está. Okay. Eh, Carla? Present. Okay, good. Will better. Wilbur? No, okay. Bah. All right, perfect. Ya que hicimos eso. All right, so let's do this now. Um, can you see? Can you see this or no? Yes. Okay. All right. So we're going to be looking at the speaking. So it says here, write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. So right now think about your favorite restaurant. You already know what your favorite restaurant is because you talked about it last time. So you're gonna write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. What do you have to take into consideration? First thing is what services do they offer? Uh, what characteristics make this restaurant good? And you have to use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions, okay? So I want you to remember yesterday we were looking at comparative adjectives. We've also learned today about coordinating conjunctions. I want you to use the two things, right? So using more da -da -da than, or for example, cheap, than, and then we also use the corning conjunctions, which are, you know, uh, fanboys, right? For, eh, and, nor, but, eh, or, yet, and so. All right. So I'm going to give you a few minutes, maybe about, let's make it about 10 minutes. For you to write your review. Okay. So everybody, if you can write your review. Ahorita mientras estamos acá. Okay. And um, in about 10 minutes, we're going to be sharing a review with our classmates. And if you have any questions um, about vocabulary or something that you want to ask about, I'm here. Okay, so. Si necesitan hacer alguna pregunta, solo abran su micrófono y yo les ayudo.
Any questions, anything you want to ask about? Remember, you have to use comparatives, right? So more da -da -da than, like, like for example, cheaper than, more expensive than, um, better than, worse than, less than, more than, um, anything, right? So it, and you got to use the compare the uh, the coordinating conjunctions, right? So, using for, um, and, but, yet, nor, so. Okay. How does five more minutes sound? Do you think we can do it in five more minutes? Yes, no? Yes, please. Yeah? Okay, I'll give you guys five more minutes.
How are you guys doing? No questions? Everything's clear? De veras, no hay nada que quieran preguntar. Todo es súper claro. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. One more I minute, guys. You. One more minute. Okay, all right guys, so what we're gonna do is the following. You see that uh, over here, well, I have the writing part here, but we have the speaking. Why? Because now that we've written this, we're gonna be using this to speak, speak to our classmates, okay? So I'm going to be right now assigning everybody to a group and you're gonna be reading and speaking about your favorite restaurant, okay? using what you just wrote, okay? So, um, okay. Uh, okay, thank you very much, um, Suleyma Melgar. I just noticed um, that your message, thank you. Thank you, thank for, you for writing it. <laughs> ahorita. Yes, we can hear you perfectly. Yo creo que es el interfiese, pero bueno. Eh, una pregunta, ¿quién es su, su, um, su compañía de, de internet? Digo. Sí, es que ahorita estoy, estoy escuchando de mis compañeros que um, digo, parece ser que está teniendo problemas. Eh, ah. no sé si es general o en varias zonas. Pero estoy sí. en el sector de mexicanos, no sé. Mm -hmm. Pero desde sí. la tarde ha estado fallando y eso que le aumenta la capacidad para las clases y todo eso y mm -hmm. siempre me estaba fallando. Sí, sí, a veces pasa, a veces pasa. Y no solo contigo, sino que todas las compañías. A veces me pasa a mí, ¿verdad? Así que, así que no se preocupe. Pero sí, gracias ahí por, por dejarnos saber. Okay, so right now we're going to be getting you guys into the, into the breakout rooms. I'm going to assign um, three people per breakout room and you're going to discuss. And then I'm going to switch you and I'm gonna go into another group, okay? That's how we're gonna run it. You ready? Everybody understands what you're gonna do? 
Todos estamos de acuerdo y sabemos lo que vamos a hacer. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. All right, let's do that then. Here, uh, oh, wait a sec, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna give you about, uh, I would say it's about seven minutes approximately. Okay, so here we go. Marlene? Hola, teacher. Hello. Oh, sí. Hello, teacher. No agarró con las manos en la masa. No. Ok. Va, yo hice, yo puse the, 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 the delivery restaurant pass pavillons is better than restaurant speaks a hat. Ok. Y el otro puse restaurant clavo y canela need, need offers especially dishes in the half day out only no sé ¿Qué, usted ¿qué quiere decir eso? Eh, necesito ofrecer los platos eh, de especialidad y también necesita no me recuerdo usted aún creo que significa la carta de ticha ¿Cuál es la ticha? No, I'm here. Ah, day out. Es day un out servicio. Es para comer ahí, ¿no? Perdón. Es para comer ahí. Ajá, ajá, la carta. Que necesito ofrecer también. O ellos tienen un buen servicio la carta, algo así que se pone. <ríe> oh, Chris, your Can you? Ah, ok. Uh, my Hi. favorite restaurant is um, Pampa Argentina and uh, it's Tony Roma. In, in, in Pampa Argentina is for a different, different dish or promotion, promo, no, no sé, promotion of promotions, no sé cómo poner. Mm -hmm. uh, um, quiero ver qué más. Uh, Ma and light mm, restaurant eh, Betos. Ah, uh, oh, eh, hola, Betos. Sí, oh. No, pero Betos, Betos Escalón. Uh -huh. I need to for my sister emerging. Uh -huh. Yo lo tomo en consideración, pero creo que tengo que hacer un... Que comprar, y los, los, los de Yo hice como un párrafo. Pero no sé. Diga, el suyo mal. Quiero ver si está correcto. En mi favorito restaurante, the food is very good. Por ejemplo, the tacos is better than other restaurants. It's cleaner, it's more popular for it there, and they don't have delivery service or takeout. The place is beautiful, but it's a little place. They have the tacos de birria, <laughs> more delicious, but are expensive. Bye. <laughs> 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 Es que, es que sí, yo es, lo que, es lo que pienso que era como usar los adjetivos comparativos. 
pero poner como toda la información del restaurante. Ajá. Ay, usando. Pero, lo... pero, okay. pero también oraciones es, es como lo mismo, porque están usando también en los comparativos. Y lo de ahorita que es los. Porque tenemos que utilizar eso también. ¿no? Ajá. Los acrónicos. Creo que Ajá. voy a modificar mi, mis oraciones aquí. Tengo que hacer el párrafo. Ajá, solo no. como, solo eh, a usar como conectores para ir haciendo el párrafo. Ajá, de restaurant La Pampa. Sí, yo me confundí bastante, pero hubiera hecho como Marlene de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer, usar estas palabras, pero como ese uno, yo me pongo una hasta nerviosa, y es lo que voy anotando. Ajá. Ajá, para que usar... me complicarme, o ver el libro, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque yo, yo utilicé como better, more, uh, more delicious, ajá, cleaner, Todo eso no lo has enseñado la teacher. Ajá, de, bueno, bueno, pero sigamos así como poniéndole más, más este. De Ajá, que para, por si nos toca pasar, lo leemos. Cabal. Como el párrafo. Cabal. Ay, bueno. <risa> Van bien, chicas. Uh -huh. oh. Thank you, Están preocupadas porque no es párrafo, pero yo que está bien. Porque si yo, bueno, yo hice oraciones. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Con, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Good. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the main room and actually I'm gonna be switching groups. Okay. I'm going to make give you a new group. Okay. 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 Back. All right, guys, uh, we had a chance to talk to your group. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to switch, I'm going to make new groups, and you're going to do the same thing, okay? With your new group, with your new group, you're going to share your information. But this time, you're probably not going to have to read. Now that you have shared your information, you have it fresh in your mind, and you can just talk. No, you don't need to be reading. Ya no es necesario estar leyendo tanto porque ya se lo saben. Okay. So let's recreate. Okay. Let's open the groups now. Hello. 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 Hello, Silvia, Suleima. Yes. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, Silvita? <laughs> I understand I speak uh, about the the restaurant, the, your favorite restaurant, but not real. Only speak. Solo hablar. Mm -hmm. oh, bueno. Eh, my favorite restaurant is mm, eh, varios, varios. <laughs> is Tony Romas. Is Tony Romas. Is for mm, for is cleaning. Eh, Good 
attention is mm, very much promotion. Mm. Uh, so, mm, other restaurant is mm, La Curva de Don Jere, is for uh, is uh, a light um, seafood or fish relleno de camarón. <laughs> Puedo decir relleno. Is um, mariscada. I like much. Only. <laughs> no sé si me entendió, pero <laughs> yo hablé. Yeah. Yeah, no, sir. Ah. Ah. Yo hablé. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right. And you? Um, uh, okay. Um, my restaurant, the name is La Pampa. Okay. Okay, they offer a good service. The waiters are friendlier than other restaurants. They prefer a delicious food. The environment is good. Their food is cheaper than other restaurants. And their service is good. For the location, you will take a good time with your friends or your family. La Pampa is more beautiful for the location. Finish. Okay. Okay. estábamos diciendo eh, lo que habíamos escrito según las preguntas si quiere yo repito lo mío ok uh, what is your favorite restaurant my favorite restaurant is Chinese food and it's called dragón dorado and I like the original one Beijing um, atrás como se Beijing no recuerdo. Juan. Perdón. A ah, the, the Real Continental Hotel. Their dishes are very delicious and at an affordable, affordable price. Number two. What service do you offer? They offer all the variety of Chinese food and with different meats. Veg vegetables, uh, natural seeds, and sauce with incomparable flavor. In addition, their plates are larger than those of other restaurants. Number three, what ch characteristic makes the restaurant good? Good customer service, affordable price, delicious dishes in the different varieties uh, in a different flavor from all the others 
in that spe specialty. Finish. I can't hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Um, the restaurant, the name is La Pampa. They offer a good service. The waiters are friendlier than other restaurants. They prefer a delicious food. The environment is good. Their food is cheaper than other restaurants and their service is good. For the location, you will take a good time with your friends or your family. La Pampa is more beautiful for the location. Alright. Okay. So Hello, Wani. Hello, Vanessa. <risa> o sea que no está, no está con todos. <risa> hoy, hoy solo vamos a hablar. Hola, Ana. Hola, Linda. Wani, hey, welcome. Mm -hmm. Me gusta, oh. Alejandra. <risa> <risa> ¿Qué se nos había hecho? <risa> Por ahí. <risa> Okay, so we had opportunity of reading uh, and and speaking about our favorite restaurant. Any questions at this moment about um, the comparatives and coordinating conjunctions? Do you have any questions? No? No questions? Teacher, uh, one question. Yes. Eh, ¿Tendrá usted eh, alguna lista de ejemplos utilizando eh, los fanboys? No únicamente los que usted dio, sino que como que variedad, ¿verdad? Por, por cada uno. For, in, or, but. Sure, I can, I, can, I can send it to you um, in, the, in the group. Yes, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can, I can, I can share it in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, what we're gonna do right now? Mm, actually, okay, because of the time, I'm gonna go straight to the vocabulary. Vamos a ver. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to go straight to the vocabulary here. All right, 
So uh, we have been talking about restaurants and some the one of the biggest things about restaurants is the food. So let's look at here for, at food vocabulary, okay? Um, vocabulary, vocabulary, book. Yeah. vocabulary, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this vocabulary for restaurants. Uh, I'm actually going to start over here with this vocabulary here. And let's talk about starters. What do you understand by the word starters? Comienzo, entradas. Mm -hmm, exactly, un comienzo, right? And exactly, starters means like un comienzo. And what do you, con que se comienza? Con? Con que se Sopa de papa. En general, ¿cómo le llamamos en español? Entrada. Entradas, okay, very good, exactly. So, in English, las, las entradas, we call it starters, okay? Or it's also another word for, for starters is appetizers, okay? Uh, oops, let's make it smaller. Demasiado grande. Appetizers, okay? So we can call them starters or appetizers. Okay, starters or appetizers, okay? All right, then we have snacks, right? Do you understand what a snack is? No, no mm -hmm. So it's like a small meal between the big meals, right? So you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then Sometimes in between, you are a little bit hungry, so you make yourself maybe like a chicken salad uh, sandwich. So something small, right? That's a snack. Okay, a main course. The main course is the, the principal or the main um, food that you're going to eat, okay? Now, in English, another word, for main course is entree. Okay, actually, yeah, entree. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you see this word in English, do not confuse it with entrada. This is not entrada, this is a main course. Okay, all right. Teacher, ese es el plato principal, ¿verdad? Okay. So entree or main dish or main course. Okay, this is in a restaurant. You will say entree is the main dish, the main course. Okay. Then we have desserts. What are desserts? Desserts are food that you eat after that is like sweet right has like sugar sugar in it um example ice cream right now uh, do not confuse do not confuse um the word dessert with the word desert so we have dessert which should not be confused. Okay, one. No sé dónde está esa tecla. Bueno, okay. So, um, dessert should not be confused with desert. Okay, two different words. I know they look similar, but they're different words. Dessert is something that you eat. This is for eating. This is a place. Okay, now the difference is basically, you notice this one has two S's and this one only has one S. That's the difference. But it's not just the spelling, it's also the pronunciation, okay? 
Um, in this one, in this word, the pronunciation, oops. Uh, in this one, the pronunciation, um, the, well, we basically divided in right here. Hmm. Okay, so these are two syllables, right? We divide it. And the word, that, the syllable that is stressed is the first one. Desert. Sorry, no, no, sorry. Dessert. So I put it on. My mistake. Dessert is the second one, sorry. Okay, so it's not, so we say dessert. Stress is on the dessert. Dessert. Okay. In this one, in the other one, the it's we we divided here. And the stress is on the first one. Okay, so we say des desert, desert. The stress is on the first syllable. So this one's dessert, and this is desert. Dessert, desert. Okay. Now, um, so this, so you can see that the, there's a difference in the in the spelling sorry, in the pronunciation, but also in the spelling. How can you remember which one is which? Um, I, I want you to think of it like this. Think about your favorite dessert. ¿Cuál es su pose favorito? Tell me, what, are, what, is, what is your favorite dessert? Cheesecake. Cheesecake. El, el sorbete de chocolate. Ok, en inglés. Uh, ice, ice cocoa. No, cacao. ¿Cómo se dice? No se le escucha, Ticha. Imagínense que tienen enfrente su pastel favorito, perdón, su, um, su postre favorito. ¿Cuán, cuán, cuántas, eh, ¿Cuántas porciones van a querer de ese postre favorito? ¿Verdad que no se van a conformar con un solo uno? ¿Sí o no? Seme sincero. No. Que... Van a querer todo. El segundo sí van a querer ir con el con por menos el segundo. Entonces así nos vamos a acordar de la la eh, la cómo se llama la escritura de la palabra. Porque así como queremos nosotros no una porción, sino que por lo menos dos porciones, así entonces la palabra dessert tiene dos S. ¿Ok? Acuérdense de sí. Okay. Dos S cuando estamos hablando de eh, la comidita que a usted le gusta, que quiere dos porciones. Y el otro que solo tiene una S es el lugar. ¿Ok? All right. And then we have here the word drinks, okay? Drinks, um, another word that you can find in restaurants that uh, is the same about drinks would be beverages. Oh, get out there. Beverages. Okay, so the same thing. It's, a, it's like, it's not that difficult because that looks like the word bebidas, right? So. Michelo. Beverages or drinks. Yes, hello. <laughs> Always you think that. <laughs> Michelo, Michelo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rafa. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, you see uh, it. I don't like it. I don't like it now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry to bother. <laughs> I don't uh -huh. like it. <laughs> you love beer. 
Okay. All right. So um, yeah, that's it. Now, um, so we have appetizers. We have potato soup is an appetizer or an, or starter. Chicken sandwich is snack. German sausage and chips is the main course. Uh, chips. Uh, be careful with this word. Uh, most of the time, well, it depends if we're talking about American English or British English. In American English, chips son eh, papitas, um, como las papitas, como papitas así. Eh, de las hamburguesas. Lays. No, no, ajá, como la ley, digamos. Ajá, mm -hmm. Okay, in, in American English, okay. But in British English, it refers to French fries. Papitas esas gruesas que, que vienen con su hamburguesa. Okay, so be careful. They, they have two different meanings depending on where you are. In this case, German sausage and chips. Yo creo que en esta sería, sería la segunda, ¿verdad? Que es las grandecitas, ¿verdad? las larguitas. Okay. Then we have ice cream. Irish cream coffee. Okay, Irish cream coffee is coffee with um, cream that is um, that has alcohol. Okay, so yes, this is an alcoholic drink. Okay, now we have some more vocabulary here. We have Thai chicken and rice. Thai refers to Thailand, the the Thailandia. French onion soup. Burger. Burger is just like hamburguesa, ¿verdad? Pero sin, sin, el, sin el queso. Si no, sería cheeseburger. Okay, pero un burger es, es solamente en general. We have cheese and tomato sandwich. Lemon cake. Grilled fish and potatoes. Okay. Grilled is um, a la plancha. Green salad, right? Or what, what, in Spanish you call it ensalada fresca, right? English tea. Okay. A pink lemonade. And fruit salad and cream. Do we understand this vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Ok. Good. Ok. Entonces, tarea. Vamos a utilizar este vocabulario para insertarlo acá. Ok. So, you're going to classify. So, Thai chicken and rice. Is it a starter, snack? Main course, dessert, or drink? And you're going to put it in each category. French onion soup, ¿dónde va? ¿en qué categoría va? Eh, burger, ¿en qué categoría? Y así sucesivamente. Okay? No creo que les tome más de cinco minutos. Okay? Do we understand the homework? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, very good. All right. So we're going to stop sharing and we're going to do the attendance quickly. Eh, solo dígame, voy a, eh, voy a decir no rapidito el nombre y ustedes abran el, el micrófono y digan present. Eh, para que no nos tardemos mucho, estén ahí pendientes. Ustedes ya saben más o menos cómo es el orden de la, de, de, de la asistencia, así que ya saben más o menos cuándo les toca. Ok, so here we go. Vamos a empezar. Alejandra. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Ani. Present teacher. Marisol. Present. Present. Cristina. Present teacher. Gerson. Gerson. Present teacher. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Uh, Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Mayra. Present teacher. Miguel. 
Present. Nelson. Norma. Present teacher. Ah, Nelson está acá, ok. Norma. ¿Verdad que no, Norma no ha entrado a clase para nada? No. No, ¿verdad? No. Eh, Olga. Present Rafa. teacher. Ah. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, Zenaida. Silvia. Present teacher. Suleima, sorry, Suleima. Suleima Rodríguez. Eh, Stephanie. Argelia. Argelia. Ok. Nancy. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Eh, Karen. Present. Eh, Suleima. Eh, Suleima Melgar. Uh -huh. Good. Eh, Carla. Present. Y Wilber Alexis. Ok. Muy bien. Bueno, entonces chicos, um, ya saben cuál es su tarea. Eh, también pueden trabajar en la plataforma. Um, ahorita hay un, hay un pequeño... Um, problemita allí con uh, el primer ejercicio eh, y estoy trabajando ahí para que podamos um, arreglar eso, ok entonces solo tengan paciencia y, eh, y pues no solamente nos quedamos ahí con um, con Ani ok, entonces sería todo chicos, cuídense y pasen muy buenas noches La igual. gracias igual teacher Bye. Bye. Gerson? Gerson, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? Creo okay. que quizás se quedó pegadito. <risa> ok, bueno, entonces, hello. Hello. Hello, Ani, ¿cómo está? Bien, gracias a Dios, aquí, queriendo aprender. <risa> so, muy bien. <risa> Me cuesta un poquito, teacher, pero ahí voy, ahí voy. No se preocupe, a todos nos cuesta la, cuando estamos empezando a aprender un nuevo idioma. Ay, sí. Y yo ahorita estoy aprendiendo un nuevo idioma y me está costando. ¿Y cuál es aprendiendo? Eh, ahorita estoy aprendiendo turco. ¿Y qué tan cierto es que el mandarín va a ser, es el tercer idioma? Bueno, por la cantidad de personas que lo hablan, sí. Sí, mm. es muy importante. Eh, dicen que va a ser el, el, el idioma bueno. próximo de... Eh, ¿Sí? internacional va pero sí. usted sabe dos inglés y, y español eh, bueno en teoría ahorita ahorita estoy uh, aprendiendo turco entonces um, o sea ya no es que lo manejen bastante pero ya más o menos sí ya puedo ya va a ser el, el tercero eh, eh, no ese es, sí. el cuarto, ese es el cuarto el tercero el francés de verdad, ay, qué chivo, qué emoción. Pero, pero tengo tanto tiempo sin practicar lo que yo ya... Se me de verdad que si no se practica, se, se, va, se va perdiendo. Bastante, ¿no? bastante. Es que todos los idiomas creo que te practica. Exacto, sí. Así y yo, que... Por el momento he dejado mi francés, pero porque, me, porque estoy concentrándome en turco, pero, pero sí en algún momento voy a regresar a, 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 a acordarme eso porque... Sí, iba, o sea, ya, ya, ya más o menos lo, o sea, de hecho todavía lo, lo, lo entiendo, lo leo, pero hablarle y, y escribirlo. Y, y niños le dicen bambino en francés. No, bambino. Creo que eso es italiano. Ah, bambino italiano. Ok. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. Así, Así que. que. No se preocupe que le entiendo. <risa> Sí, me voy no. a ir a Estados Unidos para aprenderlo dicen. bueno pero no se necesita ir o sea 
sí ayuda, ¿verdad? Pero, mm -hmm. ayuda, pero no, es, no, se, no se necesita ir a otro país para aprender un idioma. Se puede hacer en el mismo país. Pero la, la base es la práctica, Bartich. Definitivamente. Sí. sí. Si no practica, olvídese. O sea, solo de, de ver a otros practicando, no. No, no se puede. Y, y sería, la práctica sería más escucharlo o, a, o todo, todo, o sea, leerlo, eh, todo, ¿verdad? Que tiene que ir. Sí. Sería el, el speaking, read, read, reading, así va. Speaking, reading, writing. All and... writing. Mm -hmm. Pronun oh. La pronunciación, ¿verdad? Porque lo que usted estaba diciendo en la pronunciación, a veces por, por la pronunciación podemos decir algo malo. A veces puede suceder, sí. A veces puede suceder. Eh, por eso es que, pero la, lo bueno, por así decirlo, del inglés, por así decirlo, <ríe> es de que um, el inglés no es como, digamos, el español, que sí. tiene una, una letra específica que se pronuncia de tal forma. Eh, es más, usted va a encontrar en muchos casos de que um, una misma palabra se pronuncia de diferente forma dependiendo de la persona que lo pronuncie y puede ser una persona nativa del idioma, pero lo pronuncia diferente dependiendo de su región. Ah, es cierto. ¿Eh? Entonces, sí. por eso es de que esa es la ventaja porque no oh. tiene como que, ay, tiene que ser exactamente así. ¿verdad? La gente le va a poder entender. Sí. Muchos le van a poder entender. Mm. Ah, pero, pero eso no significa que no podamos esforzarnos por hacer. Esforzarnos y decirlo bien, vea. Uh -huh. Aprenderlo a decirlo bien. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ay, sí. sí, porque yo siento que muchos, a mí me gusta el inglés, pero siento que quizá ya por la edad, ya me está costando, teacher. No. Yo estoy viejita. <risa> No, 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 no. Usted, usted no piensa así, porque si usted, se, si usted empieza a pensar así, usted misma se está poniendo ahí las, los limitantes. No es negativa, ¿verdad? Así que no, usted, o sea, es que en realidad, vaya, para mí, en lo personal, yo digo, la edad es simplemente un número. Un número sí. que le indica a usted cuánta experiencia tiene. Y entre más experiencia, mejor. Sí, así es. Entonces, o se dice esa experiencia para su, para su um, eh, aprendizaje. Ajá, so, sí, o sea, para impulsarla a, uh -huh. a seguir. A Motivarnos, la... vean. Uh -huh, exacto. Sí. Exacto. Así a ver, que, primero, Dios. Eh, y cuénteme, ¿hay algo que usted siente que le pueda ayudar? Eh, yo me había confundido un poquito en lo, en lo, no lo había entendido muy bien lo de, me costó un poquito ahorita lo de, lo del, me costó el fanboy, 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 el fanboy, fanboy, ajá, sí, porque es una oración larga y luego viene el fanboy y viene otra oración, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y son largas para formularlas me costó un poquito para poder formular en, la, en los ejercicios que estábamos haciendo. O sea, prácticamente son dos oraciones en una. Uh -huh, uh -huh. O sea, con, para combinar esas dos oraciones necesitamos un conector. Sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, sí. ese conector es lo, es lo que se llama el coordinating conjunction. Ajá, el coordinate conjunction. Ajá, correcto. Y la palabra lo dice, conjunction, o sea, conjunction que lo une, que, que lo pone como un conjunto, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, correcto. Y coordinating viene de coordinar, o sea, sí. lo coordina, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que está haciendo. Tiene que tener una coordinación. Exacto. Para que sea, ajá, ajá. No. Entonces, eso, me, me, eso me confundió un poquito porque eso nunca lo había visto así, así, es cierto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si no, así oración. Pero, pero naturalmente usted ya lo utilizaba. Sí. Porque no, no me puede decir que nunca ha usado and o but. Sí, 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 sí. Desde sí, el sí, uno, quizás lo estaba utilizando and y but. Sí. Y también 
palabras como or, ¿verdad? Sí. Cuando, cuando... Sí, porque las conocía, yo ya las conocía, Bab ya las conocía. Exacto. Eh, también Ford. El, el North eh, sí lo conocía, pero no sabía lo que usted explicó. Que uh -huh. eh, sí. Si, eh, De la inversión. Con, ajá, correcto. No, y que se ocupan, por ejemplo, si ocupó el camp, después el North Camp, pero en el, en el auxiliar, si ocupo el I don't, ten, tengo que ocupar después el do, ¿verdad? Como auxiliar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Así le entendí yo. Ajá. Sí, ese no lo había. Uh -huh. No lo había. Ajá. El jet tampoco nunca lo ese sí nunca lo había oído, teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, el hay uno jet. nuevo, ¿verdad? Pero, sí. pero quizás la mitad ya se lo sabía. Sí, sí. Esa es la sí. Sí, ahí a veces me quedo en la luna, pero ahí voy entendiendo. No, poquito bien. a poco, ticha, poquito a poco. Primero Dios que aprendamos, porque ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Correcto. Y gracias porque nos tiene paciencia. Ah, no. no por nada, no. Es, es, es mi placer, es eso lo que, eh, para eso estoy acá, ¿verdad? Sí, thank you, teacher. Gracias, oye. Uy. ¿Alguna otra cosa que, con la que le pueda ayudar? Se me está acabando la batería. Ah, ok, ok. Justo a tiempo. Eh, sí, no, solamente, teacher, ahí cualquier cosa, pues ahí vamos a estar preguntándoles en las clases. Ok, ok. ¿Verdad? Sí, le agradezco. Algo, si se le, en el momento, durante el día, se le ocurre algo, pónganlo en el grupo, ¿verdad? O sí. escríbame directamente a mí y pregúnteme, porque después Ajá. en la clase a veces se nos olvida, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, lo que le iba a decir de que la, la primera tarea, la hice hasta hoy y me costó porque yo sabía que se estaba utilizando el, el mord, mord y se utiliza el dam, eh, el dam pero sí. no, 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 no lo agarraba el dam en, sí, en, la, en, la, en la de tres sílabas. Sí, yo sé, vamos a trabajar en, 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 en arreglar ese, ese error, error. Sí, Así sí. que yo al, al final se lo quité y ya lo agarró. Va a hacerle de todo. Pero le vamos a, vamos a arreglar eso, no se preocupe. Sí, así, así, pero eh, gracias a Dios que nos da, así como usted dijo, ¿verdad? que nos da la oportunidad de corregir. Sí, sí, correcto. Esa es una gran ventaja de la plataforma. De la plataforma, porque en, en, eh, yo tengo un compañero que él lo agarró con el centro cultural. No mm. le permite. Se equivocó, se equivocó y ya. Uh -huh. Se sacó otra nota, ve. Pero sí, ahí vamos, teacher. Gracias, hoy. Ya sabe, ya sabe. Ahí estamos. Uh, bueno, ok. Bueno, cualquier cosa, entonces ya sabe, eh, me puede escribir, ¿verdad? En, ya sea sí. personalmente o al grupo. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Te agradezco. Ay, ya sabe. Bye. Gracias mucho, entonces. Gracias, igual. Bendiciones. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher.